So many people have this doubt what exactly we do in counseling. See, so counseling is nothing but it's just a talk therapy wherein a professionally trained counselor you know, has a face-to-face -face interaction with the client. So client is the person who is having some problem. It could be some emotional problem, stress, depression, right? So we have a face-to-face -face interaction and we try to talk to the client, collect as much as information possible and then we try to analyze and find out what is the exact root cause for the problem and we try to help the client to solve the problem by giving alternative solutions to the problem and helping the client to select the most appropriate solution to solve the problem. So our main objective is not just to help the client to solve the immediate problem, but our objective is to make the client emotionally and mentally very strong so that in future if the client faces any problem, the client should be in the position to manage and solve the problem by themselves. So if you talk about counseling, it can be done in two settings. See, counseling can also happen in an individual setting, that is one-on-one -on -one setting with a client. Or counseling can also be done in a form of a group. So group counseling also is done. So in group counseling, a group of people having a similar type of a problem and more or less the group of with similar characteristics, like more or less same age group, who know the same language and having a similar problem. For example, you can say addiction or be a group of people who are undergoing some stress. So they would be counseled in a group and given guidance. So counseling can be done in different settings. Uh, for example, family settings where people are family having some issues like adjustment problem or problem in the relationship or help to you know, understand and solve the problems. Marital counseling is done to help the couples. Premarital counseling, even before they get into the marital relationship, before the marriage, counseling is given to the couple. Grief counseling. If a person is uh, you know, in distress or in grief due to the loss of someone whom they really love, then grief counseling is then like addiction counseling to people who are addicted to alcohol or drugs or those who are addicted to you know, watching pornography or you know, addict, addicted to smartphones, you can say. Apart from that, for students, student counselling is there, there, wherein we help the students who are having problems in the academic, uh, you know, academic problems, or if they have some behavioural issues, adjustment problems, or if they are undergoing some emotional distress, uh, counselling is given to them. So apart from all this, even giving guidance to a set of students also comes under counselling. Like for example, you can say we uh, you know like which uh, course of study they have to pursue or which career, giving career guidance to a group of uh, students also comes under the counselling.